there's a small change you can make to your website's main navigation that can have a big impact on your website's effectiveness. And that's what today's feature release and this video are about. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and we've added a new feature to most of our themes which lets you add a highlighted link into your main navigation. Let's have a look at the feature right now. To demonstrate, I'll be using the Pressive theme and this is what the navigation looks like right now on this demo site. And now to use the new feature, we're going to go into the WP Admin dashboard and we're going to go to Appearance and Menus. And from here, first I will select the menu that is set as my primary menu, right? That's the one that shows up up here. So this is the current primary menu and here we can take any one of these links, we can add a link in, in any way. So you can add a page or a post or whatever it is. I'm gonna add a custom link here. I'm actually just gonna leave that blank because that doesn't matter. And I'm gonna have, let's say, you know, sign up that, or let's say free trial could be the link I want to highlight in the navigation. So I have a free trial link and all I do is I open the options here and I, act, I click on this highlight menu item option and then I save that. Now if we go and reload this page, this is what it looks like. So now you can see we have one link that says free trial and it has a highlight. So it's clearly set apart from the other link elements and it has this hover effect and it's just a way to get more attention and more clicks on this particular link in the navigation. So this is something you can apply to any link, but it only works for a top level link. So if you have a drop down menu, you can't apply a highlight to the sub items here and it only works in the primary menu. So if you have something assigned for your footer menu or something like that, you cannot apply the highlight link. For top level items in the primary menu, you will simply see this option, you click on it and you save it to apply the change. Here's an example of what it looks like in a different theme. This is in the squared theme. And of course we have nice menu highlight styles that match the overall design of the theme. Plus, if you view this on a mobile device, you will also see a highlight applied to this menu item in the mobile menu. As you can see, that's pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do. And this is available right now in most of our themes. A list of the themes that support this feature are below this video. And I will also link to our previous post about how to create an effective website header to give you some more ideas about how to create and how to use this kind of feature. Now, I also want to challenge you to think about the way you create your main navigation as a way of effectively managing your visitor's attention. If you look at some of our previous website review videos, You'll see that this comes up quite often that there is generally too much on the page or too many things on the page. There are too many items in the navigation menu, right? Maybe with drop downs and multi-level drop downs and so on. And the problem that happens with this is if you, if you give a visitor too, many, too much of a decision to make, too many choices, then it's more likely that they'll just feel overwhelmed and not make any choice at all. And of course, as the website owner and as the business owner, you tend to feel tempted to think, oh, all of this stuff is important. I want to put all of this, I want to make all these different pages available, right? So I want to challenge you to try and reduce that because the, the link highlight feature is something that could be abused where you say, oh, I can now add even more stuff into my navigation and I'll just highlight some of it uh, to, to kind of show which is the most important part. But instead, I want you to think of it like this. Imagine that you had to reduce your main navigation to just four items, right? So what are the four most important pages that you wanna get your visitors' attention to? And then out of those four, pick one that's the most important one for your business, the most important one for your conversion goal, and use that uh, with the highlight feature. So you'd have three links plus one highlighted link, and that's it, that's all you have on your website. So that's something that I, I want to challenge you to, at least as a thought experiment, do that and see if you can't reduce the number of links you have in your main navigation. And also, I mean, even better is, you know, run a split test and tell me what happened. So run your current navigation menu as a test against a menu with this three plus one setup that I just suggested. And I'd love to know your results from that. So. 
that is it for today's video. If you have any other questions about this feature or you want to start a discussion about navigation menus, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.